वेलकम टू माई चैनल अध्ययन विथ फ्लो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दैट हाउ हीमोग्लोबिन कैरी ऑक्सीजन एंड दे ट्रांसपोर्ट टू आवर बॉडी एंड वॉट इज पार्शियल प्रेशर एंड वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस ग्राफ ऑल्सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ कार्बन डाई ऑक्सीजन वी ऑल नो दैट हीमोग्लोबिन बाइंड विथ ऑक्सीजन एंड वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ ऑक्सी हीमोग्लोबिन ऑक्सी हीमोग्लोबिन एंड हीमोग्लोबिन ऑल्सो बाइंड विथ सी ओ टू एंड वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ लिक्विड हेयर कार्बमीनो हीमोग्लोबिन कार्बमीनो हीमोग्लोबिन एंड यस हीमोग्लोबिन कैन ऑल्सो बाइंड विथ वेरी डेंजरस गैस कार्बन मोनोक्साइड एंड वी कैन कॉल इट एज अ कार्ब हीमो ग्लोबिन वेरी टॉक्सिक गाइज वेरी टॉक्सिक दिस बाइंडिंग इज हाइयर इन हाइएस्ट एफिनिटी हीमोग्लोबिन शो दे आर हाइएस्ट एफिनिटी टूवर्ड्स कार्बन मोनोक्साइड देन सेकेंड हाइएस्ट एफिनिटी टूवर्ड्स ऑक्सीजन एंड थर्ड हाइएस्ट एफिनिटी टूवर्ड्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सम परसेंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड विल डिजोल्व विल डिजोल्व इन प्लाज्मा मीन्स ब्लड हैव टू कंपाउंड blood made up with two components plasma and some formed element like rbc okay so blood contain 55% of plasma part and 45% of formed element so plasma can carry co2 because co2 dissolve in plasma co2 dissolve in plasma but oxygen not dissolved properly in plasma so 7 to 8% co2 can transport by plasma and remaining part of co2 will transported by hemoglobin and how they transport look at here we all know that co2 bind with hemoglobin and form carbamino carbamino hemoglobin all right and some reaction is present in rbc assume this is the rbc this is the in okay let me erase assume this is the structure of rbc and this process occur inside the rbc how rbc in rbc co2 is enter in rbc co2 is enter you know na blood is made up with plasma and formed element formed element like rbc wbc and platelets during transportation we always discuss about rbc because rbc contain hemoglobin hemoglobin bind with oxygen now i am going to talk about this rbc rbc contain what rbc contain co2 co2 react with water and change into bicarbonate and changed into bicarbonate with the presence of this enzyme this is the most 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 important enzyme why because this enzyme reactive reactivity is very fast this is the conversion of co2 plus h2o2 h2 co3 this is very fast very fast guys very fast and then this form is again changed into this form with the presence of same enzyme and this enzyme will transport to our tissues this molecule removed by some channel so this form of co2 is supplied throughout the body this form of co2 will circulate throughout the body and now if want ki that if we do reverse process means they give co2 but towards tissue and tissue also give some co2 form then this form again reversibly change into this form and this form is reversibly change into this form and co2 remove by rbc so this is exhalation so this is the way how co2 will transport in lungs to tissue 
and tissue to lungs lungs to tissue tissue to lungs okay so that's all about transport of carbon dioxide and now some regulation of respiration is there some regulation of respiration is there human being have a significant ability to maintain a moderate the respiratory rhythm to suit the demands of body tissue respiratory our respiration is balanced our respiration rhythm is balanced according to tissue demand okay medulla region this region control respiration medulla oblongata control respiration some brains new metaxic center also control this system also control our respiratory rhythm some neural signal from this center can reduce the duration of inspiration and their alter in the respiration rate when when this center is activate when this center is activate our respiration rate is decrease we take normal respiration we take normal respiration if our pneumatic center if our this center is not activate then we take speedily respiration speedily respiration now another one is a chemo sensitive area is situated adjacent to the rhythm center this area located where they located pneumotaxic center okay which is highly sensitive to oxygen when co2 is high when co2 is high they give signals to pneumotaxic center when oxygen is high when oxygen is low they not give any kind of signals when co2 is high and h plus is high in body tissue they gave pneumotaxic center give signals they take inspiration take inhalation take some oxygen because here lots of co2 is collect increases in these substances can activate the center of course definitely which in turn can signal the rhythm center to make necessary to adjustment in the respiratory process by which these substances can be eliminated so after inhalation this toxic substance can remove some some aortic arc and carotid artery connected with heart they also can recognize change in co2 and h plus concentration in our body and they send necessary signal to the rhythmic center for remindal action the take inhalation the role of oxygen in regulation of respiratory system or rhythm is quite insignificant compared then oxygen co2 show high activation level high responses level high signal level towards pneumotaxic center there are some disorders like asthma some people call it as a asthma during inhalation timing particular person create some sound wheezing because of inflammation of bronchi and bronchioles this person suffer from allergic condition mostly they are highly sensitive so doctor recommend to them inhaler in inhaler inhaler contain anti histamine these are these are allergy depressant they depress and they depress allergy emphysema when a person who more smoke this kind of disease found in these person emphysema is a chronic disorder which alveolar valves are damaged of course they are damaged due to which respiratory surface is decrease means in previously before smoking their respiratory surface is this after smoking this so look at here one of the major reason is cigarette smoking now next is occupational respiratory disorder it means if someone if particular person work in some factory or dusty area then they suffer from this kind of order then they suffer from this kind of disorder occupational respiratory disorder in certain industry means factory especially those involving grinding or stone breaking koila mines mines also if they expose with them if they expose with them then these kind of person suffer from occupational respiratory disorder so that's all for now here your chapter 17 is complete and thank you 
for supporting me and if you are not to still sub subscribe my channel then please subscribe my channel adhyan with flow and thank you for listening me thank you for listening me very carefully thank you keep smiling and don't forget revision this is the most important thing to secure your rank if you want rank thank you thank you so much